Good morning. Today's laborious day, labor day. What is labor day? What is labor day? This is our lesson for the day. Observe the first Monday in September, la da da. Annual celebration of the social and economic achievements of American workers. And what do we get for labor day? We get the day off. I mean, I don't technically get the day off because I don't technically work for anybody that could give me the day. I'm gonna make myself work for Labor Day. Don't worry, I will pay myself a uh, time and a half for this. So I do think everyone that I know has a day off. Uh, probably not Jeffrey. Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey is basically Homer Simpson. Yeah, okay, so today's Labor Day, which means the kids are home and it's about nine something. Thankfully, I'm already on the whole waking up super early routine, which means I'm tired early routine. And I did naturally wake myself up this morning at like six-ish, so I have accomplished some things, organized some things worked out, I don't know if you can tell, so I'm a little hot. Went outside, tended to the garden, uh, then tended to the patio, and it, things just were being tended to. Today I do have some filming I would like to get done because it's due tomorrow. I like to do things a day early just in case something goes crazy. I think the kids wanna go to the grocery store with me. I love that they enjoy going to the grocery store with me because I loved going to the grocery store with my parents and it was a little more challenging because I think I've told you guys this before, but they, well, so like, you know, they work like six days a week, right? So the only day off was Sunday. So on Sunday mornings and their jobs required them to be up and at work at either 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. depending on if they were on 12 hours or 10 hours, right? Did, 10 or 12 hour days. They, on Sundays, would still wake up hella early and they, I wanna say we would leave at like five o'clock in the morning and if I got myself up on a Sunday morning <laughs> and got myself, you know, put together or whatever, then they would take me. They would take anybody who did it, but no one else was gonna do it. No, no other child in our household was about to be waking up at five o'clock in the morning to go hang out with our parents. But me, me, yes, I was gonna go hang out with Patty and Solomon. For sure. I would wake up at five or whatever, we would leave. We would go to this restaurant called Mayberry's, which became something else, which became something else, which is now El Jefe on Lake Street. If y'all are from Aurora, El Jefe now, but back in the day, it used to be a place called Mayberry's. However, I'm almost positive the owner faked his own death, collected the insurance money, and like flew, like, like fled to Mexico, but I'm pretty sure he got caught, came back, and is in jail now. I think. Anyway. Great pancake house. So, we would have breakfast, and then we would go to Dominic's, which for, I don't think there's another, I don't think there's a Dominic's left, but I believe it's part of the Safeway family. So then we would go to Dominic's and then there was a cashier there, her name was Cindy and she was lovely. And this was before the Dominic's moved to a different city and I would go with my parents and yada, yada, yada. So I got to have input, not only on what was being purchased, but I knew how many packets of Carl budding meat were going in the cart. So when I got home, I could be like, okay, she bought 12. I'm gonna take three of these corned beef ones. They're about to be hidden hidden consider them hidden because otherwise my brothers are about to inhale these in 2.5 seconds they would always buy me a pound of jelly bellies and at the time they were about five dollars for a pound of jelly bellies girl i would have me a day because i would they would only last a day but i would eat those jelly beans it was so good so anyway i was putting in work okay and then we'd get home and then the boys would put on you know whatever whatever shoes were by the door and my mom would be like y'all need to come out here and well obviously we had to walk inside we had a detached garage and we would come inside and be like, we have the groceries, y'all need to go out there and get the groceries. And they would put on whatever pair of shoes was near the door. And I can just picture them in like their heels going to get the groceries, you know what I'm saying? Then I would put them away with my mom. And that was, that was my life. But that's a memory I have. That's a good memory I have. And I like to think that the, if you do anything with enough repetition, you're gonna remember it, right? So like um, when I took the kids to Casey's on Friday mornings, which is just the gas station, um, before school, I think I've done it enough times now that they're gonna remember it always, but I would like to continue doing it because I think it's gonna be something special in their life that they look back on like, oh yeah, I remember all those Friday mornings when, you know, we would go and get a coffee and or, or a donut or a breakfast pizza or whatever with my mom and Casey's like, that's what I'm looking for. So, all that to say, I think the kids are gonna go to the grocery store with me. Actually, I don't know about Jay because he is not feeling well and, um, I would like for him to rest as much as possible because I don't want him to miss any school. Jaden has a tendency to get sick. He has a tendency to, like Nala will power through a sickness and you know when she's sick because she's sick, because she's not out of bed, because she is completely asleep, because she is not eating. She is not like, when Nala's sick, she's sick. She, there's no in between for her. So, um, but when Jaden's sick, it's kind of like a long drawn out, you know, men and women, we're a little different. But Jaden's always a little bit more sickly as a child and everything and I, I just, probably my fault. <laughs> Probably my fault because I did not give my womb time to reset before I let him get up in there and uh, 
start growing you know what I mean so that's probably my fault but uh we're gonna go and I've been working on a grocery list because I asked you guys in that other video how you felt about you know me potentially taking a sponsorship with um WW and I told you that you know just to be up front and center with you I have done the program on and off for many years some of you had an interesting um perspective so you know I, I appreciated all the opinions good bad otherwise whatever um and I you know I read through I read through all of them and some of you were like if it worked then it would have worked do you know what I mean like then you would have lost the weight and the weight would have never come back and I think that's that's an interesting kind of perspective to have because to me a program working whatever it is that you might be doing a program or a lifestyle change or however you want to call it working means that you lose weight while you're on it now if you stop doing it and the weight comes back, I don't think that that means that the program didn't work. I think that that means that the program maybe wasn't sustainable for you. Um, and that's the case. For me, it's not even the, because uh, WW has, I will say by far, again, I'm not sponsored or anything at this point. I haven't signed any contracts. I haven't done anything like that. Um, this was just a conversation I felt like I might as well have it because I was feeling kind of on the fence just because um, I'm not a huge fan of creating content centered around that. And part of that is just taking into account the people that I know I'm speaking to. And so, anyway though, all that to say that the reality is the people that I know that I'm speaking to have also been on plenty of diets, have also gone through plenty of things. We have a lot of similarities in a lot of different ways. And I know that it's either like you can open this door and talk about it, or you can keep the door closed and choose not to talk about it. But either way, we both know what's behind the door because we've both been there already. So um, for the most part, I have kept it closed and chosen not to speak about it. But I don't know. I don't have that feeling right now. And so um, that's why I'm choosing to speak about it. But to me, a program working means that while I'm doing it, it's easy for me to do and I am getting the desired result, whatever the desired result is. Sometimes I just enjoy very structured eating because it's one less thing that feels out of control in my life. Sometimes when I'm feeling completely out of control in other ways, whether it be in relationship and, and work and parenting and just my health generally, like maybe something is going on. Um, I need control somewhere. And so if that's the only place I can find control, then that's the only place I can find control. And I'm sure, you know, uh, there are lots of, um, a lot of this leads into different types of disordered eating, but it's something that I can use to control something in my life. And it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like I have done very extreme diets. I have done things, you know, completely cut this out, completely cut that out, eat, you know, 1100 calories a day. Can I lose weight eating 1100 calories a day? Sure can, enter 2018. Go take a look at my pictures. She was looking slim and trim until the end of the year when I gained all 40 pounds back. Um, but anyway, <laughs> maybe I wasn't looking slim and trim, but I was looking less large and in charge. And um, anyway, that was very disordered eating. That was, I hate my body. I want to be smaller. That's what that was. And I mean, I remember crying in the car and like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been going to the gym five days a week and I still gained weight. Like I've been going to the gym five days a week for almost a year and I gained weight. Four days a week, sorry, four days a week. And I had gained weight. I was like, this is some old boo. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that was like, I hate myself, I hate my body. I'm gonna do something intense and I'm gonna hate the entire process. It's gonna suck. I'm going to bed hungry. All I'm doing is thinking about food. All I'm doing is how can I have the most mass with the least amount of calories? Like that's all I cared about. And then enter WW a couple years later as an adult. This was the last time I had done it as an adult. I woke up one day, I saw somebody talk about it and I was like, huh, I'm gonna you know take it into, into consideration. Maybe I'll do it. And then I loved it. I love the program because it is easy because like I never have to feel like, oh, I can never, again, again, I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> I have not signed any contracts. I've not done anything like that, but I am leaning towards working with them again because all that to say, I have gone back to the people that I used to watch on YouTube and stuff like that. And it feels comforting like to go back to just making that slightly different choice. So some of those choices I kept with me, you know, I still get the the non-fat like Greek yogurt because I'm like, yeah, why not? I can just add a little ranch mix to this. And then instead of having a big cup of ranch with my vegetables, I can just have some Greek yogurt with some ranch and some, you know, more high protein. I like the taste of it, yada, yada, yada. Like, yeah, I buy light sour cream because I know, like I know from when I was on WW, it was less, it was less points and it was still the same satisfaction to me. So why not do something that, you know, you know what I mean? It was like little choices like that. So. Anyway, I created a whole grocery list and it has some of my old faves on it and I literally can't wait to like go have them again because the food's good. The stuff I was eating was always good. Um, 
But the reason I ever went off of it is because everything else was just so much that I was like, Ugh, I can't do everything and track every day. I can't. And so I was like, I'm just not gonna track anymore. And I didn't like immediately regain weight. It took like a year and a half for me to gain, I don't know, probably like, probably like 20 pounds or whatever. Um, I had lost more than that, but uh, all through COVID, it's what kept me on track. That's why I had done it. I did it because I was like, oh Lord, I don't know what the hell is going on out there. Let's at least manage one thing. And what I can manage is what I'm eating. I can manage that. I can manage what I'm cooking in my house. I can manage my recipes. I can manage that and I can have a good fun time doing it. Cause to me it is fun. It's fun to like create meals and stuff that are good for you and still taste good and get the kids involved. The kids like doing it too. Not They don't do the program. I don't. I don't push weight loss, I don't suggest weight loss, I do not talk about their weight, I don't talk negatively about my own, I don't I do not do anything like that. This is a very neutral household when it comes to like body speak, I guess. Um, but they are aware of like the contents of food, what's in food, what is protein, what are calories, what are, car well not really calories, we don't really focus on that, but you know, what are carbs, what are you gonna get energy from, what's gonna make you feel good, what's gonna make you feel full, what's gonna make you feel satiated, what's gonna, you know what I mean? Like. Those are conversations, but um, I'm very, very conscious, very careful with that kind of stuff. And so we have a very, um, I would say a very positive uh, atmosphere around food. I don't talk to them the way I talk to you, in case that's not clear. <laughs> um, but anyway, they like making recipes and stuff like that with me. And they're always like pleasantly surprised when I'm like, oh, look at this thing I cooked up. And mm, this isn't so good. And yeah, it's so good for you. Freaking eat as much as you want. It's like so, you know, nutritious. Yeah. Max that. So I think they're gonna go with me and I'm excited to go. And I'm gonna show you guys the grocery haul that I do today because it's just good food. It's not like anything. It's not like I'm gonna come home with some funky stuff and you're gonna be like, what the hell's that? Like, no, you're just gonna see regular food. Yeah, but I'm gonna stop and read real quick and then we're, well, not real quick, but I'm gonna read and then we're gonna um, shower, get myself put together, do my filming, and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. And hopefully all of that is done by 11.30. Hey, I left my vlogging camera in the house, but you and I, I have to do like a side part today there's it's not working you and I are about to go to the grocer just me and you baby booze did not want to go and that's okay this ended up taking me way longer than I thought remember when I said 11 30 lol it's 2 24 so we're finally leaving I don't even I didn't even edit my stuff I only got a chance to film it but that's because some other stuff came up and it's all good sometimes other things have to take precedent so let's go to Meyer, I'm gonna insert my grocery list. This is what I need to come home with. I hate that I have a full face on right now. Hold on, let me prop you on Stan. He's staying in the car. He's way too heavy. Oh great, he's got a cat hair on him. Literally a story of my life, so it is <laughs> it is what it is. I'm I'm my diet is four percent cat hair. Um let's turn the air off and roast in here for a second. Yeah, no, I hate that I have um ah, stupid seat is on too. I don't know why. The cooling really has never worked for me. A heated seat, absolutely worth it. Love it. Live, laugh, love it, in fact. But the, the cooling seats, not really my big thing. Yeah, no, I should take my makeup off before I came out. It's so hot, and I just am not in the mood. <gasps> Where are my air pumps? <laughs> you guys, did you leave them at the house? No, thank you. Good. I was worried. I was worried for a second. Um, Because I think I'm actually just going to listen to a book while I'm in there. I like to zone out, but I only zone out with one um, AirPod in and then I cover it with my hair so that no one actually knows that I'm sitting out because I don't want to be like snuck up on but also I need something to distract myself sometimes normally I don't but um, sometimes it's just nice plus I tend to be on the phone <laughs> when I'm at the grocery store I like to talk through my order and I can't be on the phone with y'all because you're gonna be in here so um yeah okay I'm gonna put on well I just finished drowning Aaron which is wow well, I have like 10 minutes left but um it's Elizabeth O'Rourke's book it's literally so hot I might as well turn the car off because it's gonna be a thousand degrees either way and I liked it but again nothing compares to like her Devils series again it's not about devils it's just about like men and women and it's just the like the ha-has the he-he's that were in that the writing the relationships, how real things felt, like, oh, I just love it. Nothing compares. I believe all these books that I've been consuming lately came out before that. These nails suck. Just sidebar, they keep popping off. This one, I'm, I'm done putting them back on. This was one of the Kiss and Press manicures. I hated this one so much. Oh my gosh, hated it. Oh, maybe I'll look in there and see if they have um, a different one that I like. But, you know, I, it was good. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was good but it's not what I'm looking for. I need something that feels a ha ha, a freaking hee hee. I need to chuckle now and then. 
but I want the build up and I, I need, I feel like I'm in a slump. I'm heading towards a reading slump. And I think what I need is to just pick up my Kindle and read on my Kindle because uh, Kindle books are superior. Independent books are superior, period. Argue with the wall. I'm not hearing it. <laughs> okay, I just got home and I laid everything out so I can hopefully show it to you and the camera won't be too shaky. Coco. Coco. Loco. Oco. We'll start with the basic buddies. I got a bunch of mushrooms, green grapes, red grapes, blackberries, apples, carrots, garlic, avocados, bananas, cilantro, asparagus, cucumbers, and lettuce. Nothing too adventurous. And then the Zero Sugar Lemonade by Minute Maid. This is my jam. I keep mixing it with the Hot Mica packet from Taste Salud, and it's so good. And then I had to re-up on Stoke because I apparently ran out. And then I got cashew milk, which I don't normally go for cashew. I usually do almond and then oat after that. But every now and again, I do like to get some cashew milk. And then I got some lactate. That's just for the kids. Um, Nala uses, like, she prefers the lactate. What is it called? Lactose-free milk? Normally, I get it from Costco because it, like, it's a better price. But whatever. Obviously, I wasn't at Costco. So then I picked up two new creamers, the chocolate caramel and the pumpkin spice. Both of these ones are um, the no sugar or the zero sugar ones. I don't remember if I like this or not, but I'm willing to give it one more try. This one I know I, see now I don't know if I like that one either, I don't remember, but that's okay. We'll figure it out together. And then I have got some Trop 50, the kids love orange juice, specifically Nala, and I like getting this one because it's, you know, 50% less sugar and calories than OJ. Although that is OJ, is it not? That's a weird way to say it. Okay, and then as far as bread goes, I did these little sourdough English muffins. These are the Aunt Millie's brand. And my mom has been making sourdough English muffins and apparently they're amazing, but I knew I wasn't gonna get to it like today, you know? And I was really wanting some English muffins in the house. And then green Tabasco, that's for Nala. Um, I got a pack of the carb counter tortillas. These are fine, they're good. I like to have a pack of tortillas normally in the house somewhere. And that, well not somewhere, but all the time. And then I got this, this, which I've never had before, but I've heard pretty good things about it. And it's the Joseph's brand. And I do like the lavash bread by Joseph's brand. So this is like in the deli area. But pita bread I don't normally reach for. It's not normally something that I get, um, unless I'm like at Naf Naf or something. But I heard really good things about this bread. And I do, you know, like I wouldn't mind stuffing it with like a chicken salad or tuna or something like that. So that's why I picked it up to try it. And then just frozen diced hash brown potatoes, some green beans, Asian medley, just a little bit of frozen veg. And then I got these for Nala to take to school for lunch. Yes, it's like the bougie lunchable, but she does really like these. So I picked them up and getting three at the same time made the price a little bit better. And then she likes taking these as well. So just like the little rolled up, you know, salami and cheese or pepperoni and cheese. These are seven bucks each. And I was like, you only took a couple, right? She's like, no, isn't that like one serving? And I'm like, well, not technically, but like, yes, this is, if this is your lunch, this is one solid serving. But for $7 each, that's a little much. So got some reduced fat Mexican style cheese. And then we love these. Nala likes them a lot. The yakisoba stir fry noodles, normally we get the teriyaki flavor, um, but she loves spicy stuff. So when I saw that they even had this, I was like, what? I definitely have to get her the hot and spicy one. So it's just a noodle pack and you keep it in the fridge and then it has a flavor pack with it. But I like that you keep it in the fridge because it's super fast to cook. There's no boiling. You just go straight to frying it up. And then <laughs> last time when we accidentally got somebody else's groceries, we ended up with one of these. I ended up chopping it up and making tacos and it was actually really good. So <laughs> I went ahead and repurchased, well, purchased it, I guess this time. And it's just like a little tenderloin with um, bacon wrapped around it. Then for the meats, I got some chicken breast, a very small amount of chicken breast. I got the boneless diced ham. I really like the diced ham for a lot of different things, but especially when I'm mixing it with like eggs or making little egg cups or something like that. It's it's always so easy to use for that. And then the turkey Johnsonville sausage. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about that. I like Johnsonville and I, I don't mind the turkey sausage and neither do the kids. They don't mind it instead of pork. So normally I'll go for turkey sausage, just like I go for turkey pepperoni. This is one of my favorite brands of turkey pepperoni. I usually put it in the freezer and Nala likes to eat it out of there or take it for school. 
lunch and then i picked these up because i saw somebody talking about them i ate one in the car because i was so hungry <laughs> and these are from the refrigerator section i don't like hormel turkey pepperoni typically but this snack stick actually was pretty good so i didn't mind it but there's only five in there so i wouldn't necessarily recommend this is actually i don't know because most beef sticks are actually pretty expensive expensive um then i got some 93.7 lean ground beef and then 93.7 lean fresh ground turkey and then we got some of the al fresco sausages i was only going to get one pack but they were the sale made it a lot more sense for me to get two so i'm just going to throw one in the freezer but i got the smoked andouille and then i got the sweet italian sausage and these have great like macros and stuff so um I'm not a stranger to Alfresco, that's for sure. And then as far as like the dairy type of stuff, besides the milk, obviously, uh, we did the arroz con leche by Senor Rico, and this is for Nala specifically. She really likes that. I got a plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Normally I do the Fage or Faye or whatever it's called, but somebody was like, Chobani's is just so good, da da da, da. I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna try it. I feel like I probably have, but I don't remember. And then, man, it is impossible to find cottage cheese at the store right now. Like, what's going on? I'm sure it's a TikTok thing. I, I heard someone mention cottage cheese last week, and I was like, okay. And then someone was talking about mustard, and I was like, all right. Well, not like on TikTok, but on YouTube, like talking about TikTok. <laughs> I don't go on TikTok a whole lot, but I do go on other apps, and the other apps talk about TikTok. She's a popular girl at school. So I got some uh, low-fat cottage cheese. This is not my favorite brand, but it is what it is. And then a couple of yogurts. There were like no yogurts, but this is my favorite like type well one of my favorite types the dan and lighten fit i do really like these and they always taste good like always they have the ones that have the little um snacky pieces on top like the that you can drop in those are really good and then i got this for jay because he asked me if i would go to panera and get him soup and i was like well no <laughs> but i'll go to meyer and get you panera soup there and that's perfectly fine with him and then i got this um said tzatziki so let's see i always want to say call it tzatziki but is that even what it's called? I don't know. But it's a Greek yogurt dip. So I got this thinking that it would probably go good with whatever I'm gonna end up eating the pita with. So I think I'm probably gonna have that for dinner or lunch or whatever, it's like five o'clock right now. We got some eggs and then this is the pantry stuff. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. So then this is the pantry stuff. <laughs> That's actually kind of sad because this was like $350 for the stuff. But uh, I got the Better Than Boyan. If you do not have Better Than Boyan in your house, I don't even know how you cook, man. It's so good it's so flavorful so i got one of the big ones from costco but i forget what flavor that one was but i know it wasn't the roasted garlic and roasted garlic is one of my favorites and i ran out of both of the ones that we had um and then i got chickpeas i love throwing these in the air fryer they're just so good just season them up throw them in the air fryer make them really crunchy or don't make them crunchy either way they're so good and then i got some no fat traditional beans and i got some pinto beans some pumpkin just because i use my pumpkin and i just like to have it on hand and then i got some diced green chilies in case i want to throw some like meat or something in the crock pot i got the sugar-free jello because if you guys recall you got to get in the cheesecake flavor um but if you recall we used to do the cheesecakes like where it was like greek yogurt and this and they were so good like honestly i always love them and so did jay so then i got some taco mix season or some taco seasoning even though i have a one from costco i don't like that one as much and i kind of wish i wouldn't have bought it in a giant container so i just got one of these just to cut it because the kids do like taco meat meaning like ground beef with this not like actual meat that we would put in a taco um just like ground beef seasoned with taco what you know what i mean anyway nala has apparently decided that she loves uh quesadillas from taco bell specifically because of these two items i'm pretty sure this is what they put in it the spicy ranchero sauce so i saw this and i was like okay i'll grab it <laughs> and then i saw the fire sauce and last time um i actually ordered her a quesadilla and then she requested all these sauces and that was the whole order it was just quesadilla and sauce and um they gave her none and she was like real butthurt over that so i was like we can just buy it at the store so i've got her one and then i love having nacho sauce what's this called cheese nacho cheese it's i don't know i just like having it and then we got some sesame oil and then i didn't know that sweet baby raised it and no sugar added barbecue sauce so i saw it there and it looked different obviously it is sweet baby rays but they just call it rays no sugar added so i'm excited to try that i i don't mind a no sugar added barbecue sauce i already know that but i love sweet baby rays so if this one tastes good i'll definitely buy this over the other ones and then i got some pb2 it's been a long long time since i've used pb2 um to be honest with you i don't remember how i used to make it i don't remember what i used to mix it with but i'm gonna 
I'm gonna remember. And then we got some tuna. I haven't had tuna in four ever and i like tuna so that's kind of weird and then these are a couple of things that some of them i just picked up and then other ones i saw people talking about so these crunchy granola bar granola bar <laughs> let's call them that from now on the crunchy granola bars in cookie butter these are by kodiak they look like the ones that you get from i think nature valley um but a cookie butter flavor and they're like high in protein and then i got some pop secret which is not my favorite brand of popcorn however the macros on the actual bags just, it was great. So, and I love popcorn. I mean, I try not to eat it really because it gets stuck in my gums and actually really hurts um, pretty much 98% of the time. And it'll really like affect my week <laughs> because it really gets lodged in there. Um, but I still love it, so I don't care. I mean, I care, but not enough to stop. And then these, I saw someone talking about these, and as you can see, one of them is open because I had to crack it open on the way home because I was so hungry after leaving the grocery store. And you guys, it's like eating a freaking pack of Sour Patch Kids. Like sour blue raspberry. So these are just raisins, but they're snacks, right? So they're made into like little pouches and they are literally just raisins and they taste so freaking good. It tastes like candy. Like it's literally tastes like sour candy. Yes, they are not, they are not lying to you. It is so tasty. I can't make it focus because I have both hands right there. You go. Um, yeah, so good. So um, the girl that was talking about them, she was like, oh, these ones taste like peach rings. And I was like, say less. They have so many flavors too. I've seen them before. I think I've probably bought them before, but my kids don't like raisins, but I like raisins. So I bought them for myself. And then I got them chewy bars. We got a regular pack. And then I got one of the 25% less sugar packs. I actually really like these. Chewy bars just take me back. They take me all the way back to elementary school and I love it. And then these, we actually have been buying these forever. These ones actually have WW points on them, but um, yeah, we've been buying these forever. And I don't know, the kids really like them. They like this flavor especially. And so they'll take them occasionally for like a little snack or whatever at school. And then I think the last thing I got was this. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> Whenever we go in, occasionally we'll buy, um, like if the kids are with me, they'll pick out like the, mm, like almost like the most baby kind of like whatever they consider the funniest type of like fruit snack. And so I saw the bluey ones today and I was like, come on, we have to get the bluey ones. Like they've never seen bluey before, but obviously we're familiar with what it is, but yeah, I was like, oh, I gotta get those. So bluey fruit snacks and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all away now. <sighs> and I think I'm just gonna continue listening to the book I was listening to. Oh, my mic is flipped, sorry. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to make probably something to put inside of that pita bread because I am hungry, but I don't feel like cooking because I'm so hot. It's a million degrees outside. I'm just, I'm feeling a little overstimulated right now. I just need to chill, relax, all of those things. Energy drinks, you know what I mean? They don't, they're not, they're no coffee. I'll say it that way. I'm going to slam this. And then today I think we're going to go on a bike ride because all of my bike shorts are dirty. And despite the name, they are actually horrible for riding the bike with for me personally because my thighs are so big, they want to escape every time I'm like going up and down and up and down. So I was like, oh, I'll never do this again. And I need to wear leggings so that I don't have to fuss with them, you know? And they're just down, right? So this morning I put on leggings, even though normally I put on last night, like yesterday's dirty clothes in order to work out, but it's fine. It's 6.30 in the morning, just took Nala to the bus stop. I actually drove her over there because we were running late. And it is what, like the seventh or eighth day, day of school and Jaden is homesick. So we got that going on. He did have a fever and stuff and he's having some trouble, like his chest seems to hurt and stuff. So he probably just has like a little, you know, upper respiratory thing going on. Highly likely he will be just fine. He's just getting a lot of fluids and he's taking like some Dayquil, NyQuil at night and i think that's it y'all i'm gonna go start tackling my to-do list i always start with the read and work out and i gotta tell you it's life-changing it's life-changing life-changing my life is changed every time i do it i swear i feel so much better so i'm gonna go do that oh, sick my washer's wash is complete there was a towel that smelled so bad and it made my bathroom smell you guys don't need to hear all this anyway i still don't know what was on it was some kind of chemical but it was like Sorry, one more thing, a little update. If you don't like um, raisins, don't buy these ones because the peach ones do not taste like peach rings. The blue ones, the sour blue raspberry, those really do taste like, like I'm kind of sort of eating like the Sour Patch Kids cousin, okay? Those ones have very much like a distinct candy-ish kind of flavor, 
This one's significantly less so. So um, I still like them, but there it ain't no way. I wasn't convinced of Nala to eat that. She hates raisins. So she tried it and she was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, drama. But then I tried it and then I was like, okay, they're not bad, but agreed. They taste like raisins, somewhat. So anyway, just a little update on that. They do not taste like peach drinks. Do not take that to heart. However, the other ones, still great. I am willing to try the other flavors if we actually eat these ones. Okay, um, not fussing with my shorts, shaved like four minutes off of this whole adventure. Um, or maybe it was just that I was like a little bit more confident. Also, there's like nobody on the tracks and stuff. I mean, I ran into like four people. Um, and it's seven, it's like seven in the morning, right? So maybe that's my thing. I need to go like early, early. So I'm going to sit on an ice pack. I'm gonna actually defrost this beef. <laughs> JK. Um, that's for dinner. I'm gonna sit on an ice pack. This is the one for my back if I ever need it. Like if I ever feel like myself getting tight, I bought a, something where this slides into it actually. And then you wear it around your belly like a band and it helps it just really helps just to ice i always thought heat for like a back problem i always thought heat um but really ice for me it seems to be the thing that helps but unfortunately for years and years and years i always tried heat but um my back's fine uh <laughs> however i'm gonna go sit down and get i'm gonna like do you know read and work and stuff and do all that now and then hop in the shower but i was out there jamming to ocean avenue radio on spotify just all the old, I don't even know what to call it, like alternative rock and poppy rock kind of stuff. So, so good, so good today. Hey girly, it's Sunday. Haven't seen you in a few days. Kids spent the night at their grandparents' house randomly last night, that just was not planned. And I was about to go on a bike ride because tomorrow I need to go get blood work in the morning and then I have like work things and meetings, like a huge meeting tomorrow. So I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, it's gonna throw my day off, da da da. And I had to get um, blood work before Tuesday because I have an appointment. So I was like, oh, I'll do my bike ride today. But you know what? My butt finally kind of doesn't hurt and I think I am just gonna do the bike ride tomorrow. <laughs> so instead, I just walked outside and my garden needs some TLC. I wanna pull a bunch of plants out because I quit kind of tending to certain ones and I just want them out. Plus, the people that did our backyard really wanna take photos of it, like the people that did the deck and the pavilion and stuff like that. They had never got like their professional photos done. And um, <laughs> she came by like, uh, I'll be back when I have help because, you know, we need to move the plants. And I'm like, good luck. They're super heavy. so. What I can do to be just of a benefit to them and myself, okay, is to pull some of the stuff. So I think I'm gonna like put on an audiobook or maybe I'll actually just put the TV on and cause there's a TV outside um, and I'll just hang around the yard cause I wanna pull weeds and it is beautiful outside. It's nice and chill. There's no sun. It's probably like in the low 70s right now. It's just the perfect time for me to go outside and just spend some time outside. I walked out there for like two minutes just to look at something and I was like, oh, this is, this is very pleasant. <laughs> I want to spend my day here. So that's what we're going to do. Because while I do love our outdoor patio and deck and all of that stuff, um, in the summertime, I don't, I do not sit out there. I'm not a hot weather girl. I don't like being like super hot. I, mm -mm. I like the outside the most in the fall, winter, spring. Perfect place to be. What me and Jay made yesterday. He took a whole bunch. Um, of other stuff we made, but these were with the little, uh, what are they called? The little molds or whatever that we got from Joann's. That one broke, obviously. But yeah, they took a bunch to my grandpa or their grandparents' house, and then Nala's gonna make her entire set of stuff today. The cake in those ones came from a box cake mix. I wish I had the box to show you. Maybe I can find it online. This is the best box cake mix like I've ever tried. And I don't even like Oreos like that. And they had like a chocolate Oreo cake and then they had a vanilla Oreo cake. And so we took the vanilla Oreo cake and it tasted incredible because we ate it just, you know, like we tried a piece out of the, just like the nine by 13 when we cooked it. Dude, that cake was so good. Like I think it was Duncan Hines. No, it might've been Pillsbury. It was probably Pillsbury actually. Anyway, that cake is amazing. And normally, you know, box cake is always good. It, it's what I'm used to. It's what I, you know, remember or whatever, but that one wow wow i'm sure you guys are familiar with my outdoor area but you know the original plan 
like literally the original plan I signed off on had the stack being 10 feet shorter. Can you imagine? We had to do a sitting test. Like I had to pull, like it would have been missing so much space. Um, me and Ashley had to make like a fake table situation. It was a whole thing, but yeah, I love this. It was by far the largest expense with this house besides the actual house, the furniture. Wow outdoor furniture that's why it's always covered because i don't play any games when it comes to the furniture um you're never gonna not see it covered unless i'm sitting in it if i'm not sitting in it it's covered you can kind of see the little weaved like woven whatever the pavilion was also a huge part of it um i wanted an all season area basically so we did the pavilion it matches the roof so the shingles match the roof. That was pretty much the only requirement. And I think it had to be 10 feet, no, seven feet from our fence line. So as you can see, it's about, it's about that far. It's about seven feet. And um, the heaters in there are what kind of keep it nice and toasty during the summer, during the winter. It doesn't look it, right? Like it looks like it's just outside with everything else because it is. But if you're sitting in there and you have the fire and you have the three heaters, it's on every side besides the one with the TV. It creates this little like vortex in there of warmth. The second you step out, you feel it. So like in the winter, when we're in the hot tub, which I also love our hot tub, it's a bullfrog hot tub um, or spa, whatever. When you step out, you come over here with like your towel or whatever. I have like little towel hooks and stuff right here and your robe, you always come out with a robe. So I bought a bunch of robes. We have a bunch of really big cushiony robes for when people do use the hot tub. Obviously, I don't necessarily expect them to bring their own, except for my brother who lives actually right there. That's not his house. It's the one next to it. Um, he obviously brings his own rope and towels. But you step out and you get all nice and warm and toasty. And you sit on the big cushiony chairs and we're a family who doesn't like to touch. So that's why there are all individual chairs down there. And you get all warm. And then if you come up, it is a freaking madhouse trying to get back over here because it is freezing. But anyway, I didn't want a big dip. So I wanted two steps to get out because we're obviously elevated. We have a lookout basement not a walkout but a lookout so i was like okay i don't want a big set of stairs much like my neighbors but they have a walkout so let me show you most of the people do something more like this where you see you come out i love these neighbors you come out to a deck and then you come down platform down and then they're on the ground again theirs is a little bit higher than mine but i didn't want to come straight down to a bunch of steps so we did this right here which was just two down originally there was going to be a railing i'm super glad we took the railing off and instead just made two big platforms so you could get up from any point or you could sit there which happens sometimes when there's a lot of people um i did do a white granite out here which i was recommended not doing white granite because they said the color was going to mess up um but i didn't really care to be honest with you it's an outdoor area i clean it right before we use it we do have a sink and water out here um it's just cold water and the drain just drains straight down into the gravel beneath us obviously with the pipe and then it drains to the gravel beneath us i got two outdoor refrigerators these were way more expensive than i thought they were going to be so just take that to heart if you need a fridge that's going to work in a like chicago type of winter a very cold winter um then keep in mind that those are not the same price as your you know regular beverage fridge these were I think 10 times the price of my other ones but I got these two they're normally fully stocked but in the winter I clear them out so I'm not restocking them because it's already September and I don't plan on having any outdoor parties and then we got the grill which I love I'm not gonna uncover it but it's a big old gas grill it's huge it's got a rotisserie it's great and then my parents got me this so I didn't really have a designated spot for it but still love it <laughs> and I did a second fire table up here and I might one day do a stand-up heater up here as well because it can get a little chilly up here um, in the fall and winter but my battery's gonna die so that's when my tour will end I guess let me show you so like I said a double step to get out and then another um, set of two or three steps I guess depends on how you look at that to get down to this little area which originally had like chairs or something mocked up for it but I didn't end up doing that and then this is the sun deck which I originally just had three loungers and two um, tables and it was very cute but I never used it so <laughs> that's why it became the garden area because it is full sun a hundred percent of the day this is not full sun up here thankfully the house blocks it until about noon and then you just have from noon until sunset with sun on this side and then you come over here and this is where the majority of the stairs are and these are all lit 
these are all lit up and I had him put this around the AC units to disguise it a little bit um, but yeah these all these all light up there are lights inside of all the stairs I'll have to show it to you lit up one day I don't know that I ever have and this is the majority of the stairs right here one two three four five and then you get down and then I decided to do unilock pavers as you can see we do have some issue of some stuff coming through so uh that's something i guess that we'll address with them or whatever but yeah this is what it looks like so this was all original and then this came in last year um i had them add the walkway this goes all the way to my front yard with the steps because originally i didn't have a walkway and it was kind of kind of a kind of a trek <laughs> i busted my ass many times in the winter because it's a hill so the other side of my house is um significantly more slanted and sloped and that was kind of the trick here is that i do live on a slanted slope kind of area and then we didn't cover the bottom i actually didn't want the bottom covered because it covers the um covers the windows so you'll kind of be able to see that there are windows over there that go to my basement so i covered the majority of the basement windows which i didn't like but whatever some of them are not covered Anyway, so I didn't put lattice around the side. That would have been like an additional five grand anyway, or four grand, I think. Um, but I like it open. The cats come out with us. Uh, sometimes they're in the backyard with us. They don't go anywhere except right here. He comes right over here. He sniffs around whatever's going on in this general corner, and then he goes upstairs. Um, so yeah, we get some weeds and stuff. I have to, look, the lawn, not really my thing, okay? <laughs> Not my thing. <laughs> Maintaining everything else, 100% my thing. Um, so yeah, whatever, don't come for me. We're still working on it. Then we have, you know, the hot tub. And um, I freaking love that thing. It's beautiful. It's always ready, pretty much. And then a giant fire table. So this I had, um, I had to make a nice big, you know, top area so that we could sit stuff. I had the glass put in the next year because the original, the first year we didn't have glass, which I really liked, but the flames would kind of lick you if you were on either side, especially this side. And then we have the Samsung Terrace TV. Once again, if you think you want an outdoor TV, but you have full crazy weather, just don't forget that it's going to cost you about 10 times what a normal TV is going to cost you. And it's not an exaggeration. And then we have, um, a, we have a, we have a speaker system. So obviously lights, heater, 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 fan for the summer more lights and then the speaker system we have it in here and then we have a second speaker system which you could, probably can't even really see it looks like little mushrooms sorry the lighting's a little funky but the speaker system um i think without the tv that is probably one thing i regret spending so much on because i want to say it ran me f i think it was 15 15 000. um which was a lot, obviously. I can't remember if that included the TV. You know what? I don't think it did. Because I think the TV was another five. Um, yeah. So it's, it was an absurd amount of money, right? But this area is exactly why, like, I love my house so much. I love this area so much. I love being outside. I love hosting. I love... I just love this area. Like, it makes me obsessed with the house. Whenever I think about, like, oh, what if we move again? Da, da, da. Like, I'm going to be devastated to leave this because I love it so much. <laughs> and I had a hand in everything that, you know, happened out here. And I'm sure in the coming years we'll think of even more things and hopefully be able to do different things or whatever outside. But I love this area so much. Um, this is, like, the control area. So it's also like littered in cameras. I don't check out all the cameras, but that was another part of some of the expense. Um, but it's really easy to like turn on the heaters. You just turn those. It turns on one half of each heater and then down here is the same. So there's, this is the third heater and then this is the fan. And so you'll see. <laughs> and then there is a remote control that like takes care of all that. So you decide yada yada. To be honest with you, I never really learned how to use the control very well. I just kind of turn stuff on. And it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they taught me how to use it, but I don't remember. Anyway, I'm going to uncover the TV and we're going to put that on, I think, and tend to the garden. But yeah, I don't think I ever gave you guys an out outdoor tour. Here, let's pop this open real quick so you can at least have a little peek at the, uh, at the spa. I know it doesn't look like much, right? Let's, uh, let's turn it on. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> oh, I only have it set to 100. That's fine, because it's actually pretty hot. There it goes. I love it. I do. And it's, like, extremely easy to maintain. And I actually really like 
emptying it out and cleaning it and redoing the water and like it's great and it's not that much on the um like the electric bill uh it's a really good high efficiency spa so this is the bullfrog a series i, I think there's a number two i don't know what it is though <sighs> okay it smells like fire out here oh, the people across the street are unincorporated so they get to burn and do whatever they want over there meanwhile over here we got an hoa we got a lot of rules